right, let's talk money. Though we are early on in the presidential primary season, there are already millions of dollars in the mix spread among the Republican candidates. Yeah, let's bring in NBC 15's Michelle Beck. Michelle, you talked to our political analysts earlier today. You talked to him about how much money has been raised and how much has been spent. What's the key takeaway? Yeah, so who has how much? That really is the key right now. I mean, getting to Pfizer Forum where we are right now, getting uh, to that debate stage. Remember, the RNC said this financial fundraising threshold. Remember that. So money really matters. Now, the question is how that money, how those dollars will change from here on out. Wednesday night's debate could be a key moment for Republican campaigns and their finances. Candidates that do well tonight will have an opportunity to raise money. NBC 15's Republican analyst Bill McCaution thinks that person could be Ron DeSantis. The Florida governor, according to the Federal Election Commission, had about half the cash that Donald Trump had on hand in late June. I think it'll be the most expensive presidential race in U.S. history. That's a claim made still early on in the primary season. McCaution thinks the presidential showdown could ultimately come down to two incumbents. There will be a lot of money trying to motivate a very small percent of, of undecided voters. Most voters have already made up their mind in the rematch. From raising money to spending it, NBC 15's Democratic analyst Mike Brown believes the battleground of the Badger State will likely see a significant amount of spending. You know, the campaigns are going to put resources um, where the race is close uh, and where they think they can win. He also warns of burning through the dollars too quickly. The so-called burn rate available to view on the FEC website. Brown says it's another metric voters can keep their eyes on. Also points to this the fact that Wisconsin went to Trump in 2016 Wisconsin went to President Biden in 2020 and so this gives some candidates more reason to spend and even visit a place like Wisconsin all the more live in Milwaukee Michelle Beck NBC 15 news